Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Canadian Shield. My name is Sterling. I'm your host. Last week, Jagmeet Singh made it a stop in a park in Toronto to make an announcement and to tell everybody his thoughts on the dental care program that is, according to all of the far left, going to solve all of our problems. Housing, inflation, groceries up through the roof. Don't worry about it. We're going to make dental care free to people under 18 years of age and we're going to fix the dentures of people over 75 and that will mean somehow that all of the economic woes and all of the housing crisis and all of the things that are going on in Canada are going to be magically mended by this other expenditure of money right I mean that's a lot of money millions of dollars that could be going towards I don't know hiring people to build houses is the first thing that comes to my mind course they have an issue with that because then they would have to make the roads and cut down a tree and so on and so forth however Justin uh, Jagmeet Singh was in the park and he made the announcement and you, you would laugh your head off if you found out how many people actually showed up which we'll get to but before we get to it I would encourage everyone to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell and share this video with all your socials all right so as they were wrapping up Rebel News came and tried to ask Jagmeet Singh a question. And I think that the answer that Jagmeet Singh is very, gave is very telling and something that Canadians need to put to the fore of their mind when they are thinking about representation, democracy, and freedom of speech. So let's just have a listen. Jagmeet refuses to speak with Rebel News. Hi, Hi so I have one question. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, which, which, uh, sorry? sorry we're with Rebel News. Uh, we don't talk to Rebel News. Why don't you speak to Rebel News? You know, Rebel News viewership is on the rise right now. CBC viewership is downhill, so it kind of seems like Canadians seem to care a lot more about Rebel News coverage and seeking accountability from politicians. Why won't you speak to us? Sorry. Thank you very much, though. Thanks. Thank you. It doesn't seem like the Liberal government's doing a pretty good job right now. Cost of living's on the rise. You yourself admitted to foreign interference. We're good, thank you. So, Thanks. why do you continue to support them? Take care. Is your pension more important than the lives of Canadians? Your pension that you'll be receiving next year? $1.2 million? Nope. Mr. Singh, why do you continue to support Justin Trudeau and Canadians? You know Canadians aren't happy with Mr. Trudeau. Why do you continue to support him? You yourself are not happy with Trudeau. Did he go? Mr. Singh, what's more important, your pension or the lives of Canadians? Is it with Jonathan? Tell me, sir, what's more important, your pension or Canadians? Is he really in it for the people of Canada or is he in it for his own pension? Is that why he keeps on propping up the Trudeau liberals and delaying an election till next year? Okay, so there you can see that uh, he ignored Rebel News completely. And I'm going to get into it when I got a, I got a soundbite from Justin Trudeau talking about the Rebel News at the same time. And I'm going to elaborate more, but I want you to appreciate in your mind that after Rebel News came, just a normal, ordinary citizen who who is uh, putting something up on X because the tag was in the in the video, and he ignored that individual as well. So what you're seeing is this inclusive, far left, diverse crowd not talking to a certain segment of society. <clears throat> what segment? Well, it doesn't matter what segment. All it has to be is someone they don't agree with. And they will refuse to talk to him. This is an elected member of the House of Commons, the leader of a party. And he is refusing to answer the questions of citizen reporters, citizens, which says two things. One, if you have a problem, forget about it. You ain't getting an answer out of him if he doesn't agree with your politics at all. And two, what has he got to hide? What's he, what's he scared of? All right, now, before I get further into the fiat, the ridiculousness of that, I mean, that's just absurd in my mind. But I, I really want you to appreciate how Jagmeet Singh feels like the Canadians love him and that he's going to be rewarded for the dental program. He's going to be rewarded for the free birth control. And he showed up to a park in, down, in uptown Toronto where, you know, it's very densely populated. There's apartment buildings and there's houses all around, townhouses. Check this out. The leader of an NDP party 
held a press conference here. We came as the press conference was ending, but still, there were three people here. So you were here for the duration of the press conference, that's right? Yes, please, yeah. And how many people would you say were here? Roughly eight. Eight, okay. An estimated eight people were here at the press conference. Eight people. He's the leader of the NDP. The NDP is the sitting mayor in the city of Toronto. And the NDP couldn't get more than eight people to come to the park and just probably they only came in to find out what was what. I mean, he made his announcement. He had the one of his um, up and coming rising stars with him. And they couldn't get more than eight people to show up. I'm, I would imagine there was more media there than there were people. Because nobody is... The second that he decided that he was going to support the Liberals through the foreign interference, any scrap of, of, of loyalty that the people might have given him vanished. There's absolutely no way in the world that they believe that Jagmeet Singh is looking out for them by ignoring what the liberals are doing with foreign interference. But you know what? It's, it's interesting. It's telling, right? Because I'm doing a story right now on the, the, the Calistani situation. And Jagmeet Singh is a Calistani. Like he, he, he has been to rallies. He's done all of that stuff. I wonder if we're not looking at some foreign interference from that political group. However, that's not this video. This video is just the, the idea that Jagme thinks that he's going to save Canada and nobody can nobody will show up. By contrast, Pierre Polyev, standing room only. Now, I want you to listen to uh, Justin Trudeau talk about Rebel News because, well, I'll bring it home when it gets done. The only reason that I'm allowed to ask you this question is because today the federal court ruled that the government doesn't have the right to determine who is or is not a journalist. This is the second election in a row that the court had to overturn your government. Do you still insist on being able to make that decision and why? First of all, questions around accreditation were handled by the press gallery and the consortium of uh, networks who have uh, strong perspectives on quality journalism and the important information that is shared with Canadians. Uh so in that one, he was talking about how the consortium, which is CBC, CTV, Global, you know, Bell Media, who don't want to let them in. That's what he said. He said, oh, no, well, they... The, those people decided who I, the Prime Minister of Canada, talked to. I mean, he doesn't realize that he said that, of course, because he was just going for some prepackaged answer that nobody thinks their way through. I have an ability to see through the, you know, read between the lines. And what he actually tried to say there was the reason that two elections, Rebel News had to take me to court to get, um, to get me to stop from banning you from coming into our events... Well, that's because Bell and CBC and everybody had strong opinions and that consortium decided that I shouldn't talk to you because you're not part of their union or part of their clique, part of their group. Now, if that wasn't stupid enough, which, you know, let's be straightforward, that answer is ridiculous. So now you've got both Justin Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh, who represent the far left in Canada, refusing to talk to a specific news organization because they don't agree with whatever, whatever it, it may or may not be. I don't think they really have a reason. I think that the only problem is that the rebel news doesn't do what the liberals demand. And they ask questions that are that make the liberals uncomfortable. And as a result, of course, they, the liberals have decided that they're not going to answer. They're not even going to acknowledge that their existence. Appreciate if this was you and this was your elected official. Technically, Justin Trudeau is everyone's elected official because he's the prime minister. But if he doesn't agree with you, if his handlers don't agree with you, if the consortium doesn't agree with you, you can't even ask the question. You can't be a citizen journalist. You can't be what the journalism really is, right? Long before somebody, like people wanted to know stuff and then somebody said, you know what we should do? We should write it all down in one spot and give it to people and we'll make a little bit of money. Not the other way around. But it doesn't matter to the inclusive, diverse, far left. If you don't agree with their message, they don't have a single solitary second for you. They will refuse to even acknowledge your existence. Is that the Canada that you have in your mind? Are we supposed to call that democracy? Are we supposed to call that equal representation? To me, that looks like people who are suppressing 
knowledge, information. To me, that is people who are, as elected officials, refusing to talk to people who cast votes. Never mind Rebel News. It's the people that read the Rebel News that they actually need to be looking at. I hear Trudeau talk all the time about how we have to give tax breaks to the media because nobody in Canada is watching the media. And here's a media organization that people are watching and they refuse to deal with them. Is that even good business sense? Is that even good political sense? I mean, the, the number of ways that this is, is against the, the, the caliber of these two politicians and all of their support staff, because nobody, you know, I mean, Christy Freeland had a Rebel News reporter arrested for asking her a question and laughed her way all, all about it. Anyway, I just want you to put in your mind, if you were a, not a far left individual, but you needed help from these elected officials and they didn't agree with your politics, do you believe that they would even give you the time of day? All right, I'm going to wrap here. I want to thank you all for listening. I'll talk to you next time.